Now for this last part, we're told that X is a point then on this line L such that CX is perpendicular to L. Well clearly it's got to be this point here because uh, at X we found that C to X represented the shortest distance. And we're asked to find the area of this triangle then, C, B, X and give our answer to three significant figures. This is going to be very easy now because we've got ourselves a right angle triangle and I've updated the length CX, that shortest distance from what we found out in the previous part as 3 root 5. You'll also notice that uh, the length CB which we've been working with which was root 126 I've actually changed to 3 root 14 Okay, so uh, although you could still work with the root 126. Now to get the area of the triangle BXC, I could use this say as the base or the height and this as the base or the height. And just multiply these two together and divide by two. But obviously we've got a slight problem here because we don't know the length of BX. But that's easy to find out because I can just say that the cosine of theta compares the adjacent side bx to the hypotenuse. So let's get bx first of all. So the cosine of angle theta equals bx divided by the hypotenuse which is 3 root 14 or you could leave it as root 126. I'll just change it to 3 root 14. And so therefore bx equals 3 root 14 times the cosine of theta. But we found out that the cosine of theta from the previous part was 3 over root 14. Or you could put this value through, it doesn't really matter. So if I just say that we've got 3 root 14 times the cosine of theta which is 3 over root 14 can you see that what we get is the exact value of 9 because the root 14's cancel out. So when it comes to working out the area of the triangle BXC we've got everything we need so we can say therefore area of triangle BXC equals the base 9 times the height 3 root 5 okay and divide this all by 2 and so if you work this out the exact value would be 27 root 5 over 2 but they just wanted us to give it to three significant figures so if you pass this through your calculator what you should find you get is 30.186 and so on which rounded to three significant figures is going to be 30.2. 30.2, okay? If you wanted to put some kind of units in here, because not like in centimeters or anything, you could write units squared, okay? And that'd be to 3SF. But that's up to you. You're not going to lose any marks if you just left it as 30.2. All right?